come on, we're gonna miss the train. Did I wear this last time? I swear I wore this last time. You could always add a brooch and give it a home look. And give my mother a coronary. I'd pay to see that one. Oh, let's not even go there. For better or worse, she's still my mom. hasn't accepted me in five years. Then maybe it'll happen in six. Or never. Never say never. Jeffrey, I can tell just by looking at you that you aren't eating right. Oh, Hi, Darlene. Miles. Uh, these are for you. Oh. <laughs> it is daisies you're so fond of, isn't it? Yes, the yellow ones. Wait till you see Catherine in her wedding dress. Oh, she looks so beautiful. Oh. Oh, and your Aunt Debbie and Uncle Matt have been asking about you all the time. They can't wait to see you. Thankfully, your Aunt Doreen has agreed to put them up for the weekend. Oh, bless her heart. I mean, the last time Matt and Debbie stayed here at the house, they drove me crazy. I swear, Jeffrey, there is not one subject in the entire world. And she just sits there like melted wax and lets them talk, 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 talk. And no one else in the entire world can even hope to get a word in edgewise. Welcome home, my darling. Could have done it in April or May. <clears throat> it's like an oven in here, Mother. Ned Water says the vents are clogged and that I have to but, get them cleaned mom, up. Mom, Mom, Mom. Can we just have some time alone to unpack? Well. I guess you'll just have to sleep with the door open tonight. Dinner is at six, as always. There's one thing I would say about that woman and your old bedroom, Jeffrey. It's stifling. <laughs> It'll all be over before you know it. Isn't that what God said to Christ just before the crucifixion? You don't believe in Christ, remember? Well, I don't believe in witches either, as a rule.
Hello? Steve. Steve, where are you? Oh, no. Well, how late? Oh, sweetie. No, Catherine's not here right now. I had to send her out to get some pineapple. I made your favorite dinner. Oh. All right, it doesn't matter. Whatever time you get here, everything will be fine. It'll be waiting for you. Okay, why don't you give Catherine a call in about half an hour? Oh, we will miss you so much. All right, sweetie. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So are you guys looking forward to finally living together? Actually, Steve's been living in my apartment for about a year now. <laughs> wait, wait. Now, how'd you guys manage to pull that one off? Well, every time she comes around, we pretend like he just arrived or is just about to leave. <laughs> Got him out of most of the visits with her. <laughs> Something that Jeffrey and I probably won't have to worry about. <clears throat> now then, I think that's everything. Mother, everything looks great. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, except that we're missing Stephen. Miles, why don't you give the blessing? You mean the blessing? Yes, you know where we give thanks for the food that Mother? we're about to eat? No, Jeffrey, it's okay. I have a lot to be thankful for. Let's bow our heads. God, I thank you for all this food and these wonderful people that you brought into our lives. God, I thank you for bringing us all together to celebrate the joining of Catherine and Steve. I'm sure that their love is just as pure and meaningful as mine and Jeffrey. That's enough, Miles. This is not the time and the place for you to bring your lifestyle to Mother. my dinner table. That is not no, what no, I was trying no, to do. Don't bother, Miles. You think you're gonna make her see? She doesn't even know that Catherine and Steve have been living together. Jeffrey! Miles. Let him go, Jeffrey. What the hell was that all about? Jeffrey, don't. Don't, Miles. don't go. Jeffrey! Well, I guess there'll be plenty for seconds. You okay? That's it. That's it. That's enough. No more. She has no respect for you, for me, or our relationship. Miles, I know. We just have to make it for the next few days, just to the wedding. That's life. We can't. We can't leave. For Catherine, let's just make it to the wedding, and then I'll never ask you to come up here again, I promise. I can't stand here and let her stomp on your feelings like they don't exist! Miles, I know. And I, I love you! I love you too, and I understand where you're coming from, but we have to stay for the wedding. Let's just make it through the wedding, and then I'll never ask you to come back, I promise. Do you want to stay? Well, I want to stay Do for you the wedding. I want to stay for the wedding. I want to stay for the wedding, and then we'll go. I'll stay. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Alright. must be crazy. Oh, sorry, I didn't know anybody was in here. Captain wait. What I said down there, I'm I, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to pull you and Steve into it. Didn't you? You wouldn't understand. Oh, no, no. You're not getting off the hook that easily. I'm not trying to get off. I'm just trying to get to bed. Look, I can only imagine how awful it must be for you and Miles to come back here. But... Catherine, you have no idea, Miles. Catherine, I need to speak to Jeffrey alone.
Jeffrey, I think you owe me an apology, and in the interest of this weekend, I am willing to accept it. Are you kidding me? I owe you an apology? I think you owe Miles an apology. Jeffrey! Good night. Jeffrey! You still awake? Yeah. I heard. No place like home. I'm really sorry about what happened tonight. Yeah, I told you already. Forget about it. I still can't believe she went so out of her way to humiliate you like that. She really one-upped herself this time. I love you. Which makes me the luckiest guy in the world. Do you know how badly it hurts me knowing that my own mother hates the man I'm going to spend the rest of my life with? Darlene doesn't hate me, Jeffrey. What she hates is the truth. Please, she hasn't come face to face with the truth about anything in decades. Well, she certainly doesn't know the story about Catherine and Steve, that's for sure. Talk about having your blinders on. Come on, that's her specialty. Just like not realizing what a fucked up mess I was before I met you. Hey, she never needs to know that. I don't know, Miles. I mean, if you count my father, you'd be the second guy she ran out of my hey. life. I'm not going anywhere. And do you, Catherine Suzanne Abbott, take this man, Stephen Dwight Berrigan, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Abbott, you know you can't stay mad at me forever. I have been mad at you forever, Mother. I just wish you could be happy for me. And then he popped the question. So, when are you going to make my brother a respectable man? I don't know. I'm actually really scared to think about what our wedding would be like. You know, your mother doesn't exactly like having me around. It still doesn't excuse what you pulled Yeah, on she Miles. does have that special knack paper. for pushing all the right buttons. I will never forgive you for that. Never say never, Jeffrey. Because one never knows. May I cut in, please? 
Smart move, dear. And now, about your keeping your living arrangements a secret from me, there will be no more secrets. I'm gonna tell you, Miles. Never say never. Never? <laughs> never. 